Good morning, everybody. Now, I'm delighted to make an announcement today about the Heritage Party because there are elections coming up on the 5th of May 2022. And this is the second time we will be standing in the big uh, election cycle that comes around once every year in May. Uh, we stood last year for the first time, and I stood to be London Mayor uh, and I stood in the London Assembly as well. It seems like an awful long time ago. Uh, so much has happened in the last year. But this year, this May, for the first time, the Heritage Party will have candidates in Northern Ireland and Wales, which is fantastic. So thank you so much um, to people who are standing there. Uh, and also thank you, of course, as well to all the people who are standing in England, uh, because there's more uh, council seats up for grabs uh, in England um, this year in the local election cycle. So it's very, very exciting how uh, so many people have uh, come to join us and uh, put themselves forward uh, to be candidates. But of course, we want more uh, candidates for next time because we want to continue to build up uh, for whenever the general election is. Because, you know, as people say to me all the time when we're talking about politics, um, there's just a complete disillusionment with the uh, parties that are in Westminster, whether it's the fake Conservative Party that is not conservative, it's not conserving anything. There's the Labour Party that has got nothing to do with the labouring man or labouring woman anymore. They are pushing political correctness, cultural Marxism, and they are acting in lockstep with the fake Conservatives to bring about lockdowns which have destroyed the economy, uh, destroyed uh, our society even more than it was um, two years ago. So we need a change in an alternative and that's what the Heritage Party is. That's why I set it up. And uh, it's fantastic uh, now that uh, we have so many people uh, standing for us. You can see a full list of the candidates that we've got uh, on our website. And I'll put the link uh, down below in the information box. I also made another video <laughs> which is on, on there. I made it a couple of weeks ago um, with our fantastic um, videographer um, up there and and uh, so you can see that um, I'm in a different background, <laughs> a different place, all looking all very professional uh, with a suit and tie. <laughs> there you go. I do wear a suit and tie uh, every now and again. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so that's very, very exciting. Of course, with the local elections, um, we offer basic common sense. And one of the biggest things is financial responsibility, because I know at the moment people are suffering all over the place with the increased cost of living. And despite that, council tax bills are going up four, five, six percent across the board. And to add to the misery of energy prices going up and general inflation for goods uh, because of the destruction or the, the damage to supply chains and the economy that's happened over the last two years. Um, and so we've got to make sure that the council's are financially responsible. They just waste money all over the place with white elephant projects and uh, when they should be spending money on things that people want and people need in their localities. I mean, even things like potholes, street lighting, but of course, um, youth clubs and libraries have been closed down by the thousands over the last few years. Well, why do we close these things, which are vital services for the communities, and then uh, instead the council wastes money on just putting up some big new um conference centre or something in a small town which happens in places that nobody wants and nobody needs that costs many many millions of pounds and the taxpayers pay for it and the council tax goes up but the services that we need and require from the council don't ever seem to improve. It's just rotten and it's corrupt and it's going on everywhere at a local level as well as on a national level. I mean of course we know the corruption on a national level, what is it, 37 billion pounds spent on PPE which we didn't need uh, over the last two years and that could have that's half the education budget nearly you know could have built like, I don't know how many schools you could have built for that a hundred schools something like that perhaps more 
you know, from, uh, with that money that was just wasted. Um, and uh, this just goes on and on, and it will go on and on unless we vote for an alternative to the parties that we've got. So, um, again, once again, thank you to everyone who's joined us uh, in the Heritage Party, standing as a candidate. Please do join in because we need you, more people, to become active in politics. I know, you know, it's, it's easy to talk and, and assess what's going wrong but we're providing the solutions and hopefully uh, we will get some people elected uh, to local councils uh, this time um, when we got people standing and we'll start to be able to uh, make a difference and challenge um, the insanity that is so rife in our country. Okay, uh, please do subscribe to my channel. As I always say, you can find the the the, uh, the link to the candidates below, and also uh, a link to uh, the Heritage Party if you would like to join us. And if you'd like to stand as a candidate next year, uh, if you didn't quite make it this year because the the deadline's passed now, you have to get your papers in a month before the election. So the deadline for handing in your candidate papers to the councils was Tuesday. So uh, we can't take any more candidates this. This year the deadline's passed but if you if you're excited about what we're doing if you're excited about um, getting into politics there's going to be more elections next year in more places in England there'll also be Northern Ireland local elections uh, next year so we've got one candidate this year in Northern Ireland standing in the Northern Ireland Assembly which is fantastic but you know hopefully next year we'll have many many more candidates standing in the local elections in Northern Ireland uh, as well as England. So please do join us, uh, get involved and uh, help to make that change we need to restore sanity and common sense to our country. Okay, thank you everybody. Have a lovely day. God bless you all.